Your CDC guidelines that limits the number of people at social gatherings is not just impacting businesses. As WAT6 on your side reporter Madison Keeby is now learning. Those new limits are changing the way families say goodbye when planning a funeral or memorial service. When families walk through these doors at Rose Mortuary, they're here to plan a service for a loved one they've lost. The staff here works with them to create the service they envision. And with new public guidelines limiting the number of people at public gatherings, those services are still possible, but they might look a little different. This is so new. We haven't had a, a ton of pushback. Everybody's kind of still in the questioning phase of what life looks like kind of going forward. Planning a funeral is never easy. Private family visitations or services are still possible, but Adam Starkey, the funeral director at Rose Mortuary, says a public memorial service just isn't possible right now. When they need our services or need the services of a funeral or cremation provider, they're entering to the unknown, even before COVID-19. Uh, a lot of people haven't been through this, and that, that's, a, that's a good thing. And so just know that as funeral service providers, we are here to walk with them through this process. Many churches are already canceling services. The chapel here at Rose Mortuary is available, but because it's a public gathering, can only accommodate 10 people or less, which is why Starkey says if families don't want to postpone, they can stream the service. We are using Facebook Live and other video streaming services in order to stream uh, services if that um, serves the family's needs, and then also recording services. These new guidelines are also impacting the healing process. Starkey says oftentimes people turn to grief support groups after a great loss, and with these new guidelines, they aren't able to do so, meeting in a public space. Starkey says for those looking for support from a group without actually having to meet in person, they can turn to the internet. Online grief sessions are available with videos and a counselor 24-7. In Knoxville, I'm Madison Keedy, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Madison, thank you. Mortuary workers are considered critical infrastructure workers, according to the Department of Homeland Security. That means they will continue to operate even though orders of shelter in place.